Hey guys, I want to show you this. This is another setup I've got here. It's actually a two dirt hole set. I've actually got one trap placed right down in here. And then I've got another one that is actually um, off center here. I believe it's right here. Um, so we're hoping, I'm going to try to uh, get those coyotes coming through here and just trying to kind of go around those dirt holes and kind of coming from the sides and with that I'll step back here a little bit kind of see it lets you guys see exactly how wide that thing is and I'm going to say it's probably a three and a half by three and a half foot space uh, blended in it really good and I put some excess mound uh, right in through there not only for like a marker so I can kind of see it but also just for some more, more cover there on those dirt hole sets so We'll uh, see how this thing works out. Um, show you guys uh, bait and lure wise. Uh, still getting, they're still using the Bliss uh, Getter number one from uh, Papio Creek Trap and Supply. And then I've actually put in some uh, Fox Hollow GH11. And that stuff's got some pretty good odor to it. And then uh, I put some. See, I put some uh, Hawk Baker's uh, Gray Fox 100 in one of them, and then the other one uh, still rolling with the uh, Coyote Special uh, 200. Just kind of give it a, a large variety. Um, you know, I'm a absolutely no no professional at, at this kind of stuff, but uh, I do kind of like to try different things. You know, I do a lot of this trapping just for the um, aspect of uh, the coyotes and bobcats, the coons, trying to really help our uh, turkey and deer population. And, uh, you know, I think uh, so far this year, we're sitting December 20th, um, and we've caught quite a few animals so far uh, this year. Need to get a few more coons out of here and hopefully uh, get you guys some bobcats and some coyotes so you guys can see them this year. So we'll uh, move on down the trap line and uh, see what we come up with. Alrighty guys, we finally got what we've been after, Mr. Wiley Coyote. It is actually Christmas Day, and I couldn't be happier with this. These are some of the main products we've got, or problems we've got around here when it comes to our turkey population, our fawn population, and these guys have got to go. It's not a real old coyote, but it's definitely one that I am glad to be able to take out there. So, uh, we'll get a few pictures here of him. Uh, we'll show you guys kind of where we're sitting at here. Um, <clears throat> so, what ended up happening here is this is just a, a dirt hole set. And um, we had, uh, all I've been checking this thing, I had a thing in that here four or five days, and then end up. Uh, catching him producing and I've got three traps right along this line here and I got a whole bunch of cattle in here and it just works out really good but now that I've got this guy in here you know he's probably uh, urinated in here a little bit he's got a scent in here um, and we're definitely going to use that to our advantage just for uh, you know future um, future catches in this location so we'll uh, get him the spatch and take you guys along down the trap line hey guys Back out here, December 27th, end up getting this nice mature coyote here. Real pretty guy. Look at that coat on the look at that coat on him. So that's actually the second one in two two days. Um, this particular set I've been I had out here for quite some time. Uh, I think probably seven eight days uh, now, and there's actually two different uh, sets. Um, and actually it looks like oh here you go right here look at this so that's number one and here's something that I've been doing I, it looks like I actually had him on another one but I've got these things screwed in here and that's something I gotta really watch out for so I feel like I actually had him on two of them and uh, same setup right there but that's actually the first coyote uh, I believe and that's quite some that's some strength right there to be able to pull that sucker apart but uh definitely a good looking coyote there a uh, real pretty coat he's older than the uh, one I had a couple days ago uh, but still 
good to get these guys out for our fawn and our turkey population and uh, we'll take you guys along with the trap line all righty guys got us another yodi here pretty nice one this is actually the second one yeah you get a little feisty there i'm about to get some pictures of him in regards to that but this is the same uh, same set that i actually got uh showed you guys the last time i believe coyote wise and all I'm doing here is I've got two sets, two Duke number twos here. I put two cross holes there. I got some pictures I'll definitely put on here to kind of show you this. And this was here, uh, I believe I said it Sunday night. So we're sitting here uh, Tuesday morning. Um, and this is a, a heck of a catch there, uh, doubled up. You know, not very often you get a coyote, uh, both of them, but he's an older coyote, real pretty coat on him. Probably make another rug out of him. Yeah. It was a nice cool morning as you guys can hear got some geese moving through here and then um, I did have a couple coyotes uh, I've got some traps there for some possums and uh, raccoons over here by this pond and I did have some a couple coyotes come through here uh, this morning uh, earlier so I figured that I'd at least have a chance of uh, maybe getting another one of these guys but again you know real pretty coat there and uh, you know an awesome catch uh, you guys can really see uh, that catch there, um, not for sure. That's his, actually his back paw there. And I'm not for sure where we're sitting at on this front one. Um, oh yeah, yeah, that's a great, that's a great catch. And you know, hey, this is one thing. Uh, you know, I'm not a super experienced trapper by no means. Um, you know, and I'm just, I'm just here to kind of show you guys what I'm doing uh, for just the wildlife. And you know, I've said it in several other posts. Um, you know, I'm not here to eliminate all these animals. Uh, that is not my intention or my goal. Uh, we just do this for, you know, the turkeys and their uh, fawn population. And, you know, it uh, seems to work out pretty good. Uh, you know, although the fur, um, you know, prices have dropped, uh, you know, these coyotes can definitely uh, still gain you a little bit of money if you can find you a buyer. So uh, we'll uh, move on down the trap line and take you guys with us. Alrighty, guys. Back at it, get a little better look at this guy. It's almost like he's gonna play possum on us a little bit, but get a little closer, show you guys that catch. Actually caught him on his back foot. I can't remember if this was actually a two or three uh, trap deal, but what's happened here is as I've trapped multiple coyotes here this year, I've actually starting to figure out that those coyotes are getting a little tad bit a little smarter they're a tad bit smarter here. Uh, you know, they're starting to see their buddies get caught up here in those traps. You know, they usually hunt in, in a party. Um, and with that, you know, you've got to become a little smarter yourself. Uh, so several of these traps I've actually put, um, I started out with two, uh, two traps, two dirt hole sets. And then what I actually did is um, added a third trap because what generally will happen is, is those coyotes actually circle around. So, or maybe they're coming from the side. So, you know, you got four sides of that double dirt hole uh, set. You guys have seen here in the past. And uh, this is just a prime example of just another uh, thing that you can add. Um, you know, if you are running into, uh, you know, potentially some coyotes uh, digging up your traps or trying to come in from the side there. And, um, you know, it's just a just another avenue just to kind of think of, but that's actually one of the first coyotes in. Uh, the, well, this is actually the first coyote this year that I've actually caught with a uh, foothold there, um, and he's pretty tired. Uh, I'm not quite, quite for sure. You know, if he got um, just caught and got wore out or what, but that's the first time in a long time that I think uh, I've ever seen a coyote. Um, do quite like what this guy's doing right here so uh we'll get moving on with the trap line get this guy dispatched and hopefully you guys enjoy the videos hey good morning guys got mr coyote again as you guys can see there's actually a total of three different traps there and i do believe that we caught him on at least two of them um and this is just a standard dirt hole set probably a ton of sin in there right now um Earlier, he was barking and howling, all kinds of stuff. Uh, we're glad to get him out of there, but uh, not for sure if that may just be a, I don't know if that's a female or a male. Um, 
but uh, ended up um, putting another trap in and it actually looks like the one that uh, uh, I caught him on was the guy that I had added so what I ended up doing was I had a trap on the left side of him so back over in here and I had a trap over and over in there well well sometimes what I'll do is if I start finding traps that actually have gotten dug out um, I will actually put a trap about right there in the dead center of where that coyote is um, on either side but what those coyotes will do or at least what I've seen them do is they'll actually kind of loop back around here and uh, go at it that way um, so it does work out pretty good that way if you guys do end up finding you know hey your traps are getting dug up a little bit and you know there's a lot of reasons why those coyotes can identify you know maybe uh, uh, you know you didn't cover that pan or maybe it got wet you know, there's just a ton of ton of reasons why uh you know those coyotes will dig it up whether it be a scent issue um but i wanted to kind of look at that a little bit more because oh geez yeah he ain't going nowhere that's actually a three uh three way three way catch um so he probably just got tangled up in a whole bunch more and uh that's just kind of way it goes but we'll get him the spatch there and i don't know if he's gonna bark for us or not you gonna talk but he's not a very or she's not a very big whichever one it is not for sure if we can find the see the sex on that no it looks like it is a male yep just a young male uh we've actually only caught one female this year so far um so you know hey coyotes coyote but we like to take out both of them you know and we're not here to eliminate them all but there's just a ton of coyotes uh we've seen a big um decrease in our turkey and our fawn population have tons of trail cameras you know in regards to them harvesting them themselves uh so we like to uh take out a few of these guys for just the general population so uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying all these videos and uh good luck on your guys next trap run